Hello, everyone. I'm Mario Florio from NBC10. Welcome back to Mmm, a food podcast, the place you can come to hear about all of the great things happening on the local food scene, wonderful restaurants we have, the local events that highlight local cuisine, the great companies making delicious food products. And now I am at Newport Vineyards in Middletown and speaking with owner John Noons. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, thanks for coming out to see us on a great day. So this is the first actually podcast I've done um, that's centered around wine, so I'm excited about this. Tell us about the history of Newport Vineyards. Newport Vineyards has, well, uh, my family's been running this operation. Uh, we're going into our 27th harvest of grapes and making wine this year. Wow. So we sit right here where we're beautiful piece of farmland very close to downtown Newport on land that my great-grandfather bought in 1917 so uh, a few 27 years ago or so we got into the wine biz and uh, haven't looked back nice and uh, tell us about how many different varieties of wine you have we have quite the selection people um, are surprised uh, when they come here we have over 20 different types of grapes that we grow mostly whites we're in a uh, kind of a, a uh, cool climate here, so we, we grow grapes that do well in the climate. And it's uh, predominantly thanks to Narragansett Bay that uh, we can grow a nice selection of grapes, mostly, uh, like I said, whites with some popular ones like our Chardonnay, we have Sauvignon Blanc, we have Pinot Gris, we make a great Pinot Grigio. And we have a selection of reds as well. We do Cabernet Franc, uh, Merlot, Pinot Noir, which is great for making uh, some sparkling or some rosé. So um, the climate is just wonderful, especially on a beautiful October day like we have here today. The grapes love it, and they're just soaking in the sun and generating a lot of sugar. So that's what we like. Mm, and I heard uh, your rosé is uh, award-winning, huh? We do very well. We've <laughs> won quite a few awards over the year, but last year was really a, a really a nice uh, a nice uh, accomplishment. With uh, we submitted our dry rosé with over 160 entries, and we got best of show, and the, it was all American rosés from all over, and uh, that was great. And boy, people went crazy over that wine. Mm. I had a little taste. It's wonderful. It's delicious. That's I good. love. I love the quality of it. Tell us about what people can experience when they come here to Newport Vineyards. So you can come into Newport Vineyards. We have lots of different things to do. If you're hungry or if you're thirsty or if you're just curious and you want to see what it's all about, you can come in anytime. We do wine tasting every day. Um, so you can come in and taste uh, up to five different wines. Or you can come in, sit at a table, get a wonderful farm-to-table lunch from our kitchen. You can do a flight of wine. And then about four years ago, we opened a microbrewery. So we have a great selection of local brews that we, that we make right here on site. So we have something for the wine lover and the beer lover. So we're, we, we say we're in the agritainment business. So you come here, we want to entertain you, make you feel relaxed, and create something that you will remember. And um, it's, it's always, uh, you know, different times of year you can come, even in the winter, on weekends, you know, it's still a nice place to come hang out. Yeah, I was going to say, is this a, people probably wonder if it's something they can do year-round. Is there certain seasons that are better than others? Well, it's... Between summer and fall is always great if you want to check out the grape growing and the agricultural operation. But it's pretty cool in the winter, too, because we're pruning back the grapes. You can see the evolution of the whole annual progression of what happens in the vineyard. So if you come three, four times a year and then just keep going out, you can see how everything happens. So there's, there's obviously beautiful in, the, in, uh, in late summer and fall. is just wonderful. But uh, come anytime. What's the key to knowing when the grape is ready? Well, it's been quite a few years. After 27 years, I always like to say that we've seen everything, but every year is a little bit different. This year was great. Um, 2022 will go down as a wonderful year because of the sun, very little rain, 
and a wonderful warm summer. So the grapes are as happy as can be. There's still lots of green leaves. And so what we're doing is we're starting to taste the grapes now. We know about when they're getting close. So we're, 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 we taste them, we look at them, we watch the weather, and then you know we, we want to know what the sugars are and some chemistry there too. But uh, it's mostly on, you know, you go out, you look at them, you taste them, you say, okay, time to come in. Mm. And the microbrewery, how many different, do you have like different types that you make? Sure, we have our, obviously we do New England IPAs, which are extremely popular. And we do some classics as well. We do a wonderful uh, pills. I spent some time in Germany, so we, we get a true um, uh, 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 German style pills, but we do we do some really cool sours. We like to get the kitchen involved because we have a full farm to take. We have a garden where we grow our pumpkins and we grow all kinds of greens and garlic and beets and things for the kitchen. So sometimes we'll put stuff in the beer that is that we think is kind of cool, like our pumpkin beer. We actually grow the pumpkins for the pumpkin beer, and we use true, true New England local. Uh, pumpkins in the pumpkin beer, which I can proudly say there's not many uh, breweries that grow their own pumpkins. So yeah, I tasted that too. That is delicious as well. It, it really has a great natural flavor to it. I can tell it's they're your homegrown. It's pumpkins. a really cool beer. I love pumpkin season. We also take some of our pumpkin beer and we age it in bourbon barrels, and then we release it a year later. So if you like that one, you should try the Imperial Pumpkin. Mm, that sounds good. And I heard your chef. Uh, is, has a specialty uh, that in, involves bacon. Absolutely, <laughs> Chef Andy Texera. He's he runs a full uh, full farm to table kitchen here. He loves uh, working with local farmers, and he gets his own beef and and pork. He orders animals by the by the by you know by the unit, and uh, he dictates what we grow outside. He smokes his own bacon, makes his own charisse. He does you know a full full scratch kitchen. We make our own bread or desserts. Everything is made right here. We have three kitchens here. So it's uh, we do events. We have a wonderful cafe for lunch and then a full service uh, dining experience. Mm -mm -mm. So it really is like the full uh, experience here. It's not just the, the wines and the beers. You have like a whole um, dining experience, huh? Absolutely. So local food and wine. You can't get any better or any more than you get here at Newport Vineyards. So if someone were were to come in, like, uh, you have do you actually do you host like events and things or what? You know, I know you have a fall fest, right, coming up. We have both public and private events. We do a, a couple of probably, you know, a handful of really cool events throughout the year. We have our harvest festival the end of October, which is two days and. Uh, you come outside, we have an outside grill, we have uh, wine, we have some, some uh, grape stomping and music, and it sells out pretty fast, so you got to get tickets ahead of time for that. And then we do things like a winter festival, when the Newport Winter Festival comes back in, which is happening again this year. That's great. We do, uh, we do ice carving, we bring out our ice wine, you go outside, you bundle up in the cold, and you taste ice wine, and... Uh, we do some really cool things year-round, so you have to check out our website. But we do we do weddings and a lot of corporate events and uh, you know different parties and things. So hmm. you have a whole like a uh, market here too, where you sell products. We have a fantastic little marketplace. So if you if you are ever trying to figure out what to get someone, whether they were wine or beer lover or not. We also do a lot of uh, culinary accessories in our store. You can buy wine, you can buy beer, you can buy some really cool gifts. So it's, uh, we get quite a few shoppers during the holidays. Mm -hmm. If you want to book like a, a wine tasting, how would you go about doing that? Like a, you can do like a tour and then a tasting, how does that work? We do take, we started taking reservations a couple of uh, years ago. So you can make a reservation online, uh, but there's usually plenty of room for walk-in so we don't discourage just just showing up 99 percent of the time so you know if you come saturday afternoon at 2 30 it might be a little bit tough but just about any time you don't really need a, a reservation so do you walk in and what you can do you can kind of tour around and do some tasting yep you can you we, we have a tasting bar set up all the time there's during the week there's a little more uh, wine making activity or brewing going on but then um if you you can stand up at a bar and and one of our servers will go through the different wines you can pick a handful of wines that you want to taste or you can get a get a table 
and get a flight you know you can just check off the ones and they bring out little glasses mm. for you to taste which is always fun and then yeah. you get some food gets like get some food from our great kitchen that that goes with it that you can pair along and there's no wrong answer you just have to come order and taste and decide for yourself come with your appetite and your uh, desire for some wine what are what are some of the highlights on your menu that will make my mouth water <laughs> <laughs> well we do we work a, we have a chef is very close with the seafood industry so we always have some cool chowders and some great soups from our garden um, we do we do simple straightforward things and then we have some more fun things like we do a sm- uh, what they call a smash burger which is made from local beef here comes the tractor right now with some grapes so if you hear that in the background but uh, then we also uh, chef Andy makes his own he'll he'll do like a lamb pastrami he'll do some really cool different um, uh, different offerings, great salads with greens. We grow all. We grew 1,500 pounds of garlic last year, so all of that gets incorporated into uh, into what we do. There go the grapes. Oh, that's yes. There they go. Very nice. Very exciting. So there's always, it's always, you know, um, there's always something cool, but there's also some some simple, just great, straightforward. Uh, fresh food is what we want as local as you can get and that's that's chef Andy's philosophy yeah it's great that you have like not just the the vineyard but the garden too and that's and you right. keep it all local huh? that's right which is great so how can folks um, find out about you and and see what you have to offer and and you know if they want to are interested in what you have going on here how can they find you it's very simple just go online and and Google in NewportVineyards.com or Newport Vineyards, and uh, we come right up. And you just click through. You can see the different offerings. You can make a reservation if you choose, or you can uh, you can see everything that's going on. It'll give you the full list of beers that we have on tap from our brewery, as well as the wines that are available and the menu, um, which changes all the time. The beers change all the time. The menu changes constantly depending on what's fresh. So you just go in, check it out, and uh, just come on by. That's the simplest thing. We're right on 138. We're right right here. Uh, you come by, we have bird nets up now, so everyone knows where the netting goes over the graves. That's always a question. So Yeah, so everything's seasonal. It's kind of like whatever's uh, going to be great at the time, right? Huh? Absolutely. We have some year-round things, but really that's what we specialize in. All right, John Noons, thank you so much. Newport Vineyards, uh, thanks for having us here to uh, check it out. And uh, if you guys want to check out some great uh, locally made wine and delicious local food, come to Newport Vineyards. They'll make you go, mmm.